guys and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. Today I am going to be starting my shopping district, starting my museum area and finishing little bits and bobs that I started before I started recording. So I'm just going to give you a tour of what I currently have. I've shown you guys all of this, so I've finished my campsite, I've finished my house and I started working on the main town hall. So what I've done is I've put a fence all the way around the main town hall apart from at the bottom and one to the left and right. Walt, if you are thinking of moving, I'm going to lose my call. You better not be thinking of moving. Okay. Okay. I got really scared then. This video nearly took a really nasty turn. Um, this book was for <laughs> another resident on my island, but that's okay. Walt comes above everybody else. Ooh! Okay, now that we know things aren't about to go horribly wrong. From my entrance, which is still very largely the same, I just put a tiny library here because I wanted it to have something. And I think I might put something else here just so it's not completely bare. So you come up here. I'm going to build my inclines out a little bit further so they come over to here. And obviously this is the town hall. And I decided to put some terraforming behind it because I didn't want it to be flat I wanted you to have to go down these pathways to find where things were going to be so I've got a bit of land here I've got some more land here this is my orchard and I just wanted an area in my island where I could just keep all of my fruits my non-native fruits so I've got oranges at the back then I've got peaches and then I've got cherries I think these are oranges too and then these are either apples or pears at the front I'm not too sure and obviously as you can see this is where my museum is going to move so my museum's going here and on the incline behind it i'm going to have something from the museum on that top incline and some trees on the lower incline also we have a rainbow that's so nice so that's going on there so my next stage of this process is going to be putting flowers around here so this whole area is covered in flowers and as you can see from my path where i've marked it out i'm going to have the shop here so somewhere around here I'll have the shop and then on the other side, so over here, pretty much equal, I'm going to have Able Sisters. And I want to do it that way because I want to leave lots of room, so I'm thinking of having a farm somewhere. I want to put maybe like a cafe or some sort of themed area there. Um, I want my beaches to be filled with little getaway coves, so bits of furniture and surfboards and stuff and over here so my main village which i've you know showed is pretty much complete I'm working on this area now so the walkways so i've got different colored fruits up here gonna have some more diy recipes and little inclines like i've built here i want to have more of these around because i think it's nice to have sort of a directional push so you're walking around and the cliffs kind of push you in a certain area so lots of work needs to be done but i'm focusing on the museum area mostly for the first half of this video and then i'll get on to the able sisters shop and moving nooks cranny and yeah i guess wish me luck because it's gonna be quite the big operation i have a plan in my head i don't actually have a plan written down or drawn out but i kind of know what i'm going for so i'm just gonna go for that and we will see how it goes as i said wish me luck okay just as a mini update it is now the next day and the museum is now in place i'm thinking of putting something here maybe a fossil maybe a painting and then maybe putting like a chair here or something or a tree maybe bringing this in so that people can like come and sit out here and then obviously as i've said leads to the orchard the trees are growing quite well now so the next part of this little terraforming session will be sorting out what goes up here which means i need to dig all the fossils up and go in my storage and see if i can find something that i want to have on display so yeah on to that so i've put some pine trees up at the top i also have this um i think it's called the dinosaur trek fossil out i just wanted something quite small there and you know on the other side i'm very tempted to put like a painting or something just to really drive home the fact that it's the museum in case it wasn't completely obvious uh the main set piece of this area is up at the top so i didn't have a lot of room to play with but i did put a dunkleosteus fossil up here um i just wanted something that kind of stands out a little bit and i thought it was a cool looking fossil i didn't want to have a a three-piece set like most people do i just wanted a one um, this pine tree is here, but I'm assuming it's not going to grow, so I might have to push this cliff out a little bit more. So, 
that's where I am right now and I think the next thing I'm gonna do is go and move one of the shops to the area that I have sectioned out um, my main concern I guess is that I don't really know what to do with the area above the shop so I think I'll put the shop here probably around here so people if they really want to they have the choice to cut through the plaza to get to the museum so they don't have to go all the way around the shop but I'll probably have it meet back up with the museum have some more inclines around just like I wanted so yeah I guess you guys will see what I come up with in a minute okay that is the shop moved so tomorrow we'll have the shop in place and yeah just like I thought it is gonna cut off so I'm probably just gonna put some DIY recipes in this area some items maybe extend this path out a little bit and I will be doing the same thing on this side with the Able Sisters shop and that way I have a lot more of the island to just play around with so if any future updates come up that say you know you can have a farming update and there's an area to farm I don't have to think about terraforming the entire island again to get some space I have a lot of space that I'm just going to decorate with I guess little rural sections because I really do like the rural village living style so I'm going to time travel to tomorrow and get the shop here and do a little bit more work with that. New horrible rainy day, feels just like home. We are going to just see how the shop looks and then I'm going to move the Able Sisters shop over as well. As you can see I planted some flowers over here, I'm going to do the same all around the border. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so here's the shop. So what I'm going to do is knock back this ledge just a tiny bit because I want it to, you know, be that you walk across and you can get to the shop quite easily. And then I'm probably going to have another path coming this way, most likely something in this big empty gap here. And basically going to do the same on the other side, but make sure that, you know, once again, there's more space so I can move things over. I just want to see if any of my trees are growing because I'm having a problem with trees. Okay, so that one is growing. That one's not, so we'll move that one. And oh, that one's growing up there. Okay, so that's good. So, in terms of progress, I'm pretty happy with it. It's just a bit daunting knowing I have so much room and I haven't really got that many ideas. So, like this area here, I don't know what to do with. You know, once I move the shop, it will be around here, but then what do I do with this big area at the bottom? And I'm really hoping that I get to a point where, as I create, I have inspiration and I have ideas. But this is what I wanted. I wanted you to come to my island and sort of be funneled down this pathway. And thankfully the resident services is right there. It's right in front. And then, you know, if you, I'll put a designation signpost to show that the shop is here. And then I will have the Able Sisters shop just over there. So I wanted everything to be very close. And then the rest of the island is free for exploration and any extra features I want to put down and I can have some ponds and some kind of disclose little areas for hidey holes so going good so far as I said I'm going to move the Able Sisters shop now and continue doing the little bits and pieces until I'm happy with it so I'll see you in the next clip. I have to say I'm a little bit confused as to what's going on here um I just came to see Walt between my terraforming and Walt is running around after Hippo Walt, I thought you didn't like him. Why are you chasing him, Walt? I thought you didn't like him. Ugh. Anybody else I would have been fine with, but he had to have Hippo here. He's gonna kill your flower that I gifted you. Ugh. Walt, what are you doing? I just like... I caught this guy bad-mouthing Hippo last week. He was saying, I'm not your buddy. I don't want to be his buddy. And yet, here he is, just having him over, staring at him intently while he listens to his music and sprays God knows what's on the plants that I bought him. Uh, just feels very uncomfortable right now. It feels almost like a betrayal of sorts. So with that, I'm going to go back to terraforming because... This isn't what I wanted to see today. Well, move away from him. <laughs> oh, Walt. What are you doing? 
Yeah, but we're friends. But we're um we're shunning Hippo, you know, like we want him to leave the island, so we're not inviting him into our houses and talking to him and letting him listen to our music. I need to leave. I can't. I cannot sit and watch this go down. Okay, so that is the Able Sisters shop move, which now means that I have nothing on the beach after so long of having things on the beach. And as you can see, I've kind of got a triangle for my little shopping district. So I've got the museum at the top, just in front of the orchard. Then I have Nook's Cranny and over towards the village, I have got the Able Sisters shop, which will be here tomorrow. So next plan is keep doing a bit of work, basically, and keep tweaking things. I really like how the shop looks. I'm going to have something here and then kind of have it immediately leading onto this little pond I made. And I think a lot of it is going to be working really hard on adding the smaller touches that look good. So once I've got the basics down, it's just going to be every day adding things and talking to other people and looking at other people's videos and islands and posts and seeing what I want to take as inspiration for my island. So I'm going to come back tomorrow and show you with Able Sisters fully set up and that will be the end of this video. So I did a little bit more time traveling and it is now the next day and things are looking pretty good. So as you guys already saw, I have the shop here and I added a simple destination signpost just to kind of give newbies or people who are visiting the idea of where things are. And then as you can see, there's the tailor sign here and then the tailors is right here. So if I move away enough that my marker won't be on the map, you can see that I've got them kind of spaced out i'm not 100 percent sure if they're exactly the right part from each other you know there might be one tile to the left or one tile too far to the right but i'm pretty happy with how it looks so as i said my next plan is to just do a general bit of decorating add some stuff here put some stuff up here and as you can see i've got to continue these paths so i've got to do a little bit more with these custom paths but for how it's going i'm really happy and I'm probably going to end the video here and say thank you so much for watching. I will probably be focusing now on villager hunts for a while because I don't really have any concrete ideas for what I want to do for the rest of my island. And I'm very much itching to go on a villager hunt. So I'm going to work on that. And if I do any more work on the island, I'll be sure to update. But I would ideally like to hold off massive updates now until I do another island tour. And I can show you guys how I've got everything once I'm 100% happy with it. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time I record. Say bye.